What's going on everyone? Chase with Shinify here and today I want to talk about the easiest way to make over $1,000 a day with bots and automation. We're going to be sending out millions of messages while we sleep and we're going to be able to generate thousands of leads with the system I'm about to share with you. Now if you want to keep updated with the system, respond with the word yes and I'll make sure to update with you with all of the things we're doing around this automated system. So this is a very simple step-by-step -step system that I'm gonna show you how to get set up with today. Ideally, we're gonna be setting up a tool, we're gonna to be running the tool, and then we're gonna be collecting leads from the tool, and we're going to offer a service. So let me just show you some of the leads here. You can see we have Jake says, hey Giles, this is our alias here. Thanks for the email. I would be really interested in some leads. If you have any, thanks Jake. But look at this, if we go into our important inbox here, this is a brand new Gmail we made. Look at all of these leads, 810 leads that we reached out to. And you can see some of them aren't interested, but a lot of them are. And all we're doing is offering a free lead generation service and then we're selling on an ongoing service. So let's talk about the first thing you're gonna need. I want you to head to the link in the description that I'm gonna leave for you, the first link. It's called GSA. Once you click on that, you're gonna go grab the tool. Now, you don't have to go and buy this tool if you don't want to. I don't own this tool, I just use it. If you were to go and do this manually and send out millions and millions of messages, you would have to go and, and simultaneously <laughs> go to thousands of websites with your own computer and, and type whatever your message is on their contact form. So for example, if I went to Los Angeles dentist and found their contact form, I'd have to go and fill out every single form. And that's going to take a very long time for me to fill out millions of these forms myself. It would literally take me years. So you don't want to do that. You'd rather use a tool. And if you want to use a tool, the one I recommend is the one I just showed you called GSA. But again, if you want to fill out the forms manually, just expect that you're going to be maybe sending out a few hundred forms a day if you're lucky, going and clicking and typing in your message. Either way, go grab the tool if you want, click on checkout, and then we're going to go and set up the tool. Now to set up the tool, it's pretty simple. Now the basic setup is, but if you want to scale the tool, that's when it gets a little bit more complicated. But let me just show you the basics to the tool. So when I open up the tool, it's going to ask me to register it with the license key that I got when I bought the tool. And you can, by the way, run the tool and it'll only scrape. It'll just show you the contact forms, but it will not let you send messages. So kind of pointless to just scrape. So again, it does help if you um, actually go and buy it. Now you can see here, it says my demo session actually expired. So what I need to do is I need to actually just show you this on one of my private servers. Let me log in. And again, remember how I said it can get a little bit more complicated. What I meant by that is you can run this on a remote computer or a remote server, same thing. And that way you're not running it on your main computer. Just makes things a lot easier because your main computer, when you run this on your main computer, it will get bogged down eventually. But to get started, you can run this on your main computer. Let me get out of some of these things because we're not gonna go too deep into this. Let me just show you the basics. So here you can see, this is what it's gonna look like, except there's a project already in here. Let me go ahead and just create a new project because that's gonna be the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do. So you're gonna click on new, new project, and then you're gonna type in the name of your project. You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it send my first message. I'm gonna click on okay. Now it's gonna ask me, what keywords do I want to target? So if I uncheck that and I start adding keywords, I can say, I want to contact dentists in Los Angeles. And from here, I can click on OK, start, and then I can scrape plus check. And this will find me all the dentist websites with contact forms that are listed for dentists in Los Angeles. Now you can see I already found 40 forms. And then I can start sending a message to them by filling out the message fields, which I'll show you in a second. But before I get into that, I want to give you some disclaimers. The first disclaimer is that if you're going to be sending messages, ideally you want to be doing this with proxies. 
What is a proxy? A proxy is essentially a way for you to send messages where you're not sending from your actual IP address. Because if you send a bunch of messages from your actual IP address, you are likely going to get either your private server banned or you're going to get your IP address banned and your internet ser service provider is going to let you go. So ideally, you would use proxies. The way you get proxies is you would go to one of the other links in the description of this video. These are the proxies I recommend. And you'd go pick up a few proxies and load them into the tool. And that's pretty straightforward as well. You just go in here. You get, I recommend the either the dedicated or the private proxies. And your options here are really just how fast you want to go. You can see for five proxies, it's about 11 bucks a month. For 20 proxies, it's about 40 bucks a month. For 100 proxies, it's about 165. I personally run about 700 proxies, but it's because I send a lot more messages than most people. If you only want to send, let's say, I don't know, a million messages a day, you could probably get away with anywhere between 20 to 100 proxies. And again, it's just how fast you want to go. So before we get into that, though, let me just show you again the basics to this tool. So what I can do now that I have 59 contact forms found around dentists, I can go to submission content and I can start filling out the fields. The only fields you really need are first name, last name, subject, email, and message. And so what that means is we're going to be filling out different forms. I'm going to change this to self-defined. I'm going to change my name here to uh, whatever. Let's just say it's Bill. Then my last name is going to be I can do just a random last name so that way I don't have to select my last name and that way I, you know, I'm not using my actual name. Email, this is wherever the emails are going to send to or send from. So when they respond to our forms, when they respond to our messages, it's going to go to whatever email. So we'll just call this uh, my example email at gmail.com. Click on OK. Subject, this is whatever we want to say. And this is where we can offer a service, right? So the, the, the key point here is that you want to offer something that's going to help these website owners make money or help them in some sort of way. So what I like to do, and we've done a lot of testing, is just offer something that, that, that might help them do that. So I could say, hi, I made you a free marketing video. Would you be interested in seeing it? Okay, so that's one. Another one, and this is the one I've been experimenting with lately that I really like, is, hi, I have leads that want to buy from you. When do you have time to talk about them? And I recommend just do like one to two sentences because if you do more than that, you're going to um, start getting your contact forms failing. So I have leads that want to buy from you. When do you have time to talk? Click on OK. Message. And that was actually the subject, sorry. Let's just call the subject leads or uh, new buyers. And again, subject, one to two words, message, I would say 150 to 200 characters. Click on OK. And then we are ready to go. Uh, these other settings in here, this just is if I want to retry multiple times if the, the contact form fails. Proxies here, this is what I would use to send, uh, to set up my proxies by importing them through here. And then... Um, I would click OK, start and run. And so if I click on no and go, now I, you can see I've already sent 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 30 contact forms. So it, in two seconds, I sent 30 contact forms where if I would have done that manually, it would have taken me probably 20 minutes, okay? Now, it doesn't really matter when you're doing low numbers, but when you start contacting millions of websites, that's when it starts to get you know, a little crazy. Now, one of the other things you can do if you don't want to scrape your own websites, because it'll probably take you to scrape about a million contact forms, it would probably take you about three weeks. So instead of doing that, what you can do is you can buy pre-made lists right here. I'll show you this is one of them. This is 14 million pre-check contact forms. It takes about three months to, to, to be able to get a list like this. And then you can just throw in chunks of a million URLs at a time. So let me go in here. I can go to local categories. This is a bunch of local contact forms. I can copy all that, open it, and that's going to go ahead and import all these different contact pages for these different niches. And now I have all this firing power of 1.3 million websites that I can contact. And that way I don't have to scrape them ahead of time. 
And again, everything that I'm talking about, I'm going to leave as links in the description. Um, specifically, those contact forms uh, will be in there if you want to just buy the pre-made list. You pay about 100 bucks per million contact to 2 million contact forms. But all of this is optional. So right here in the description, you can see this is the private server that I'm using. This is the proxies that I'm using. This is the contact form list that I'm using. And a lot of this stuff I just buy from other people because a lot of this stuff I don't own. The only thing that you could really buy from me is the setup. If you want me to go and set up all this stuff for you, um, what I'll actually do is for 500 bucks, I will essentially take all these different things and I'll configure it for you. It takes me about an hour to two hours to do and then get on the phone with you and actually set it up. But again, that's optional. You can learn this all yourself too. Um, and then the only other thing I didn't really mention here is CAPTCHA Breaker. So if I go in here and I turn on CAPTCHAs after all these import, I can actually get through the CAPTCHA pages on the contact forms too. You know, the little things that say, are you a robot? We can use robots to say we're not robots. And I accidentally imported all of these at once. So I have to do a lot of clicking here. Um, but I'll show you, this is the other tool. It's called Captcha Breaker here. And basically when you're running the messages, um, it will go through and attempt to get through all of the captchas. Now, um, the next step, by the way, because most people ask me, okay, well, Chase, if I send out a million contact forms and I get you know a few hundred leads, what's the next thing I need to do? And the next thing is you need to go into something like Gmail, and I would recommend setting up a G Suite account because when you set up a G Suite account, you can actually start utilizing APIs. And what that means is that if I set up a bridge from Gmail into a platform like Go High Level, I can use an autoresponder and I can actually keep track of all the leads. The other thing that you want to do is you want to turn on labeling or markers inside of Gmail. You see how I have all these different gold, like little uh, gold tags. If I go inside of Gmail, go to settings, see all settings, and then I go to inbox, I can turn on markers. And what this means is that it says, Gmail analyzes your new incoming messages to predict what's important. So essentially you're using AI to sort through all the auto responses you're gonna get. Cause you can see from sending out these contact forms, I got 13,000 auto responses, but if I click on important now, I can sort through the actual 800 leads. And then what I can do, now that I have a sorting feature inside of Gmail, I can use something like make.com or Zapier to actually go and start integrating all these leads over to something like Go High Level. And if you're not familiar with what Go High Level is, it's a CRM that will store these leads so that you're actually managing them and responding to them and you can set up automated flows for the leads. So for example, here's an account where I have an automation that will enroll when the leads get ported over from Gmail to high level, it will enroll them into this automatic email reply and then it will filter them based on whether or not they're interested. So the filter basically says if the email that they're responding to says the word yes or okay or sure or what or interested, and it doesn't contain no or not, like not interested, it will then send them a response email saying here's a video explaining how it works. And then in the video, I can break down what I'm trying to sell. Because remember, the first message we're going to be sending is going to just get them to respond with the word yes or interested. Once they respond with the word yes or interested, it's our job to warm them up and explain how we're going to help them. And the best way to do that is usually either by doing a video or by doing some sort of phone call. Now, ideally, you would do both. So when they respond with yes or interested in the initial lead, remember we got 800 leads here, I can send a message back. You can see here, this says, I would be good to hear what you offer. I can send them a video and say, I explained it in this video, right? Now, if I do this manually, 
I can do that. But if I don't want to do it manually, what I can do is I can use this system over here, which again, I'm not going to dive deep into because we're already going deep down the rabbit hole. But if you want me to cover it in another video, let me know. Anyways, I can create a video and say, I explained it in this video. In the video, I can tell them, <clears throat> hey, this is how it works. I'm going to set you up with a process similar to what I'm doing here. I will send out contact forms for you and I will get you your first leads. And if you want me to do this full time, I can tell you the pricing. Then you get on the, and then I tell them, I give them my phone number. I say, send me a text or send me a call. I get on the phone and now they already know what's going on. They, they went through the process. They watched the video. They know what I'm offering. And then they get on the phone and they say, great, how do we get the first leads? Then I send them their first leads, which only takes a few seconds to set up because all I have to do is change the fields inside of the submission content to their contact info. And then I can send them their first leads to whatever Gmail or inbox they have. And then when they get the first leads, I can go, how did you like the leads? Do you want more? And then I can offer them some sort of um, setup service. And the setup service, it can be similar to the setup that I have. So again, the best email tool.com. This is my done for you setup. I charge $497 to set this up where you have your own private server running this and you could essentially charge something like this for them to check, to do their own setup on their own private server. Now, if you're confused about this, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Don't worry. This is a system that took me a long time to learn. It took me a couple of years. Um, if you're interested in me creating a more beginner friendly tutorial, I can try to do that. But in a nutshell, the hardest part about this is just getting the setup going and running the private server. Once you have the private server running, all you're really doing is changing a few fields and clicking send. Okay. Because you don't have to go and scrape the contact forms. You can get the pre-made lists. You don't have to go and set up the whole setup. If you don't want to, you can get it for 500 bucks or you can try to set it up yourself. That's totally optional. Some people do that. If they, you know, if that's what they want to do, if they're a little bit tech savvy, then I would recommend you go and figure it out. Um, but once it's set up, it's very, very straightforward. And then from there, you can figure out how to scale the back end by um, creating an automation that works for your company. Or you can start figuring out how to automate the front end higher, right? So like for me, I have five pri private servers running with 700 plus proxies. So I'm able to send out a lot more messages than the average person. So if you wanted to instead send a, instead of sending a million messages a day, you wanted to start sending 10 million or 20 million or whatever it is, you could start doing that. But remember, everybody starts at the beginning. Don't do, don't try to go and automate to the moon until you just get started with a, a, a test. Most people go, okay, well, how do I start segmenting my list? How do I start contacting this type of business? How do I start doing that? Don't worry about getting specific until you just start running the tool and get your feet wet. Most people are trying to do a bunch of crazy stuff and get, and get really into scraping and go deep down the rabbit hole. And they've never even sent a message out before or even gotten a lead with contact forms. So what I recommend is send out a few messages, get some leads coming in, see what they have to say, experience the setup, right? Go get the setup if you want the help, thebestemailtool.com. And by the way, the, the way this works is when you go to thebestemailtool.com and you get the setup, what's going to happen is you're going to get taken to a thank you page. Inside the thank you page, you're going to get asked for all of the licensing, right? So there'll be a setup video where I'll basically say, okay, I need this, I need that. I will show you basically what to get. And then you're going to go to the links, get the stuff, and then you're going to fill out a form with all of the things that I need. After that, about 24 to 48 hours, I will have it set up and then we will, you'll get a video of me explaining how to use it. And then we'll get on a phone call and I will actually walk you through the setup over a screen share. So if you want the setup, you want me to help you do it and you want to um, get started with this and you don't want to have to figure it all out. Again, the best email tool.com and we'll get started with it today, but that's it. Thanks for stopping by until next time. Happy money making. We'll see you. Bye.